in 2026 should you write your actual exams from iii or ifoi in november 2025 iii moved back to a partially descriptive exam now cm cs and cb exams of iii are descriptive to the extent of 70% of the exam only 30% being mcq so you need to type out your exam just like you do in uh, ifoi using mathematical typing or equation editor with this change should you be selecting iii or ifoi if you are just starting out let's find out there are two categories of professionals for whom it still makes sense to go for iii without a thought the first one is chartered accountants because chartered accountants get four to five exemptions in actual exams from iii their journey becomes much faster if they go for the iii exams so they should definitely select iii the second set of professionals are people who are earning more than 8700 pounds every year that is about rupees 10 and a half lakhs if your annual income personally is more than 10.5 lakh rupees you are not eligible for ifo is reduced rate the exams would become very expensive for you to write if you go for ifo so you should definitely go for ii for anyone who doesn't fall into these categories the decision is purely financial what are the benefits of ifo the first one is higher pass percentages the pass percentages for ifo exams are usually between 30 to 50% while that for ii are between 15 to 40% so there is about 10 to 15% uh, gap in the pass percentages if you want the higher pass percentages it makes sense to go for ifo secondly in ii exams there are often some errors in questions in the solutions they often make some sort of errors because of which the students suffer this first by getting demoralized during the exam because they are not able to get the answer and secondly if ii doesn't offer bonus credit for these questions their scores would also suffer the erroneous question or answer problem occurs quite frequently in exams like cs2 further ii's exam platform is also less user friendly thirdly there is a minor advantage for students who are sure about going to europe for work further they should also consider ifoa as a good option although there is a mutual recognition agreement between iii and ifoa and once you qualify as a fellow of iii you can directly become a fellow of ifoa so these are some advantages of ifoa and for these advantages you end up paying almost double the fee for your exams in case of ifoa as against iii for example the fee for a typical cm cs exam from ifoa is about 27000 rupees but from iii it is just 12000 rupees including the material material is compulsory to be purchased from iii but not from ifoa so if you can afford ifoa and want all of the advantages that it offers go for ifoa if you cannot afford ifoa find the fee to be too high or you want a better return on your investment you can go for iii